King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter. Yo, what's going on, Team IKC? It's your boy I King Carter here. It's about that time again, guys. It's the new year, new game, and uh, we have NBA 2K15 literally right down the block. You can look at it, you can see it. Uh, 2K Sports is already talking about it via social media. So, you know, it's time for the NBA 2K15 wish list to roll. Now, we all know that I do these almost every year. Well, I do do them every year, but uh, this year I'm going to be doing things a little bit different. Instead of having you guys sit here for a half an hour uh, or even an hour because I have a lot to talk about, um, I'm going to be breaking this up into a series. So, we're going to talk about general improvements, gameplay, animations, online and every mode that's in last gen and current gen but uh let's hop into the first video we're going to be talking about general improvements all right ladies and gentlemen it's time to talk about general improvements for nba 2k15 the first thing i want to talk to you guys about is the menu system the menu system for next gen 2k is ass i'm just gonna straight up say that right now um nobody else here would disagree with me i believe that they should just bring back the regular menu system that they've had for years it works perfectly you can find everything with that menu but this new menu we have where you just go to a random home screen you see all these modes then you have features and then you actually have to find other playable modes and features within those other modes and features it makes no sense just please bring back the dynamic menus it will help everybody out nobody will be complaining about the menu system you know if you did that we'll be happy for example it's no reason why the park which is supposed to be so spectacular so dynamic that you have to find it inside my career and that's the only way you can get to it it should be at the home screen you know what i'm saying it should be where you should say uh my career or my player then it go down to a little uh, another menu drop and then the park or my career or shop or stuff like you know stuff like that come on 2k help us please now uh moving on let's talk about auto saves versus manual saves now, autosave is great, don't get me wrong, because when people run into errors, autosave actually helps them out because their game might just stop right in the middle and you never know if you're actually going to get that save back. But, sometimes when you're in my career, for instance, you accidentally hit X while speeding through the menus and it sends you into a game and you're not able to get out of that game. You have to literally either foul out of that game or play play the entire game to actually go to the park, uh, put new clothes on your player, check stats. Like it's nothing you can do once you enter a game. It's no getting out of it. I just feel like 2K should bring back manual saves for users that feel like they're content with saving the games after every game. You know, I don't think that. You know, bringing back manual saves will have guys glitching their my players, making them 99 everything, 7 foot point guards. I don't think that will happen because with the new 2K server system and linking your my careers and everything to their server, I don't, I don't, I just don't think manual saves will harm anyone. Now, uh, for instance, uh, check this out. Now, you know what? I ain't gonna get into that. I'm gonna save that for the next video because it actually has to go into a gameplay. But, uh, Let's talk about these rosters real quick, 2K. Um, when trades happen, right, and when people get injured and when uh, teams bring in these new alternate jerseys, it shouldn't take weeks for you guys to actually port it in the game. I just feel like if you're going to say that we're going to have a new roster system and the way it's updated, I feel like that 24 to 48 hours is long enough. It shouldn't take a week. It shouldn't take two weeks. It should be immediate. As soon as somebody gets injured. Uh, okay, for instance, Michael Carter-Williams, rookie of the year, by the way. That's I'm calling that, yes. Say he gets injured. If he gets injured at 2 p.m., he shouldn't be available to play that game or play be played 
you know, online until he comes off injury. It shouldn't be hard to just X somebody out of your roster just because he got a small, you know, a tweaked ankle injury. You know, it shouldn't be hard. And, of course, guys that go out with bad ACL injuries and stuff like that, they're still able to be played with online for about a week or two. So I just feel like you guys should keep these rosters updated and you should actually get in touch with people to actually get these statistical uh, reads of, you know, the injuries and the trades and the jerseys and all of that and accessories. Oh, please. We don't, I don't even want to dive into accessories. You guys really have to keep that updated because that's what we really look for. It's the little things. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, something that a lot of people is going to probably, you know, praise me over. Please get your online out of my single player. Now, this is what I mean by this. Why is every mode forced to be loaded online with your server? Like, say for instance, I want to play my career, right? If I want to play my career, it's no reason why it has to load to the server every time I play it right what if there was only a reason why i wanted to buy like if i wanted to buy vc or if i upgraded my player you know that's when it loads up to the server that's when it connects why does it have to connect for me to play a regular game why does when i hit the x button it says syncing to 2k server and then loading and then i have to wait there for two and a half minutes to go into a my career game you know vice versa like a my gm game, like any type of game that's supposed to be single player mode everything is linked with the 2k server you know just have it for transactions only you know like if you're playing my gm and stuff like that like it's no reason why it should be synced to the server all the time i just feel like if you guys are going to have this vc thing that when those interactions happen that's when it needs to load to the server you know that, that that's just the way i feel you know the, the servers uh, I, don't, I just don't like it but uh <clears throat> Anybody remember the local saves? Like, times where you would have the ability to have numerous saves of all different types. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, that's how guys did the VC glitch in last gen. Well, how about this? How about you make a way where you can still have multiple local saves, but take the VC glitch out completely? You know, maybe there's times where I want to save my mob player at the beginning of the season, I want to save him right before the All-Star break. I want to save him halfway between, you know, like going into the playoffs and All-Star break. I want to save him right there. Then I want to save him at the end of the season and then save him right before I come out of the playoffs. You feel me? Like maybe it's, it's time spans where I say, well, maybe I didn't do things the way I wanted to do it. And I want to do it differently. I want to take, I want to make a video series where it says, what if iPod King Carter would have made this choice during this part of the season? Like that's 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 the only reason why I really want local saves back because it would create you know the creativity in my career you know because everything seems like it's it's played out it's scripted and you know maybe I just want to make different decisions. Okay, but uh, let's talk about um another thing. Bring back create a player, please, please bring back create a player. My homie Shady Triple Zero Eighteen is waiting to make a new montage of my my player, and it's because of you two K that that has not come out yet. That song that Jive Turkey made needs a created player, man. I, oh my goodness! Look, please provide updates and dated created player models like new haircuts, new facial hair, the ability to add masks. The ability to add goggles, etc. Like, when you create a player, you should be able to have every facet of the game. If LeBron James has a face mask, I should have a face mask. If LeBron James has an I Promise wristband, I should have an I Promise wristband. If LeBron James has a full tattoo sleeve, I should have a full tattoo sleeve. If LeBron James goes bald, I want to go bald. If LeBron James wants a high top fade, I need a high top fade. Just give me everything I need and create a player, please. Now, uh... This is one big thing for all the montage makers out there. Please bring back the real maker with YouTube upload capability. Just 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 hear me out real quick, 2K. If you bring back real maker, right? And you and you make it compatible with YouTube where people can just upload it straight to YouTube from the game. You know how many people will want to buy the game, make montages of their my careers, their my players, their my teams. You know, it'll just be it'll be it's a dope idea. You know, I just I just wish you guys would do it. 
All right, now uh, let's move into something else. Please bring back franchise control options. Like, for instance, like 30 team control, forced trades, jersey options, complete freedom to run an NBA league as we see it fit. So, please, online leagues with a little bit of franchise control would be dope. I just wish that that would happen, you know, because there's a lot of guys that I know that like to play 2K. And if we could get our little leagues going on, you know, it would it would just be crazy to be dope. Um, check this out. Create a team. I know I should have put that right behind create a player, but I wanted to build the, the suspense. I would love to create a team where I can have the ability to add my own city name, my own team names across the jersey breast of an actual team. Like implement a, a court editor, you know, similar to NCAA College Hoops 2K8. I know you guys remember that game. Everybody remembers that game. Like if you guys can implement that in 2K15, I would be a happy camper. I would not be mad at all. Like that would be something dope. Now um also please give us the ability to edit our players short length. Like for 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 instance, say you know we go classic jersey or something and I want to wear the classic shorts. Give me the ability to actually edit our shorts. That would be dope. You know, everybody has the same old long shorts to the knee. Some players actually wear different types of shorts, you know. Some players like to wear, you know, shorts that's going to give them the mobility and stuff like that. You know, I just would think that that would be something that you guys could add in there, you know. Um, also, when it comes to accessories, I would love it if you could just give us the creative freedom for the colorways and like with our shoes as well like I just uh, got my signature shoe in my career and I try to put certain colors on certain items of the shoe and things just weren't working out you know I made an abomination of a shoe and I just feel like 2k has been doing this you know for a few years now with the shoe creator Nike ID they should have more options than just changing a base to one color you know maybe they can change different bases to different types on one side of the shoe to another side of the shoe different colors on one side of the shoe to back to front to, i just think that you know 2k should upgrade some of these things and uh last but not least before i get up out of here because i know uh this video actually kind of you know was a little bit long but uh before i get out of here i want to actually say 2k how about actually upgrading the vc system um and the, the reason why i say this is because you know a lot of guys buy vc in my team and of course i'll talk about that more in my team but if you want to have vc purchasable by everyone how about you separate vc in modes you know how about my team vc that's purchasing my team can't be used in my career you know, how about VC brought and my GM can be used in my team or, you know, something like that, because I noticed that you guys have these my team points. Well, how about in my career, you have my career points, which is nothing but skill points. And then you could buy VC for accessories only. I don't want people just to be able to buy their goddamn players. I'm sick and tired of everybody being 99 as soon as the park open game day. I mean, come on, 2K, please. Like, can 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 you just make VC for accessories and shoes and stuff like that only in my career? And my GM, can you make VCs for, you know, getting players, uh, how should I say, like their practice time and all of that up? Like, come on, 2K. Like, everybody just buys out. Like, you know, people will say, hey, I'm going to drop $100. I'm going to go into my team and I'm about to buy all these historic packs. Like, how about you can only buy open up historic packs and stuff like that with my team points you know you gotta earn something you feel me like how about you just use vc for for instance like just regular nba packs because you know uh, you know what i'm a, it's gonna this is about to turn into a rant i'm gonna get out of here um this is ikc signing out episode two which will be gameplay should be out tomorrow um i'm gonna let this one linger a little bit you know i'm gonna let this one uh get a, get a little bit of views and stuff like that um i'm aiming for 5,000 likes on every one of these videos for the nba 2k15 wishlist series and i hope you guys help a brother out 
But uh, this is IKC signing out. I hope you like the general improvements. And I'm going to at y'all in the next video. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.